Hi Brawlies, Marvin here from TechBeerall.com where we do unboxings, reviews, and sexy beerals. And today we're going to do an unboxing, assembly, and review of the Sharkoon Skiller SGS2 gaming chair. A unique gaming chair, especially at its price point, featuring breathable fabric that not only aids with comfort but arguably more durable than synthetic leather. In this video, I'll guide you through the assembly and see if this gaming chair is the one for you. With that being said, let's get into it. In terms of the packaging, it's basically the same with any other gaming chair out in the market with this massive box and some branding and details around it. Upon opening the box, we have the user manual with illustrations, specifications, package contents, and dimensions. After that, as you can see, all the package contents are well protected either with foam protection or with a bubble wrap which is pretty awesome. So we have a safety warning right here, a set of screws, washers, and Allen wrench Phillips screwdriver combo tool. We also have here the 5 star steel base, the backrest, the lumbar pillow support, the neck pillow support, and the seat itself with an already pre-installed 3D armrest. We also have another box right here that houses the 560mm wheels. And then here we have the class 4 glass lift pistons with adjustable covers, two side covers for the joints, and the suspension and tilt control mechanism. Now let's go through the different components and check out their design and build quality. In terms of the 5 star steel base, the build construction is definitely good with reinforcements at the back and a plastic cover at the center. You'll certainly feel that this one will not break that easily compared to a nylon base. The same could be said for the suspension and tilt mechanism with an equally solid metal build construction and hard plastic materials. As for the gas lift, it is class 4 which is suitable for most office and gaming chairs and can support up to 110 kilograms of weight and for persons with a maximum height of up to 185 centimeters. As for the joint covers, it is made from plastic with included screw covers. In terms of the wheels, they are 60 mm in size and is made of hard plastic. The lumbar support pillow has substantial size and is quite soft with the fabric cover and adjustable straps. The cover is also removable which is good for quick and easy cleaning. The same goes for the neck pillow with the same foam material, removable fabric cover, and adjustable strap. Now for the backrest itself, I'll pop the complete dimensions on the screen so that you can check it out. But in terms of the design, we have an embroidered SGS2 model name right here and a skater logo right here on top. The entire backrest is covered with the same fabric material that feels really good to the touch and gives us the sensation that this is definitely breathable. In terms of support and padding, it is also quite substantial on both sides and all around the back seat as well. We also have two holes here with hard plastic lining for the adjustable neck pillow. Overall, I'm satisfied with the design, build quality, and cushion of the back seat. Though to be honest, I was expecting just a tad bit more thickness in terms of the foam padding, but this is still totally adequate. Looking at the back, we have yet another SGS2 embroidered logo here, but this time we have a Sharkoon logo on top. So yeah, overall, I like this backrest with substantial width that should fit most body sizes. Moving on into the actual seat itself, I'll also pop the complete dimensions on the screen so that you can check it out. But as you can see, the 3D armrest is already pre-installed but if you think it's necessary, you can definitely adjust its position here. Now the build quality is made mostly out of solid metal and overall, the quality of the materials used for both the support components and the upholstery is pretty good. So even at this point, I really feel like this could be an easy recommendation to anyone especially at this price point of only around 10,000 pesos considering the build quality and the design. I also appreciate the packaging of the screws, washers, and spring washers that are properly segregated and labeled for easy assembly. Not to mention the quite detailed user manual with good illustrations. Speaking of assembly, building the Sharkoon Skiller SGS2 is pretty straightforward that I believe anyone can do in just a matter of minutes, especially that the armrest is already pre-installed. First, install the 60mm wheels just by inserting them through the holes of the 5-star steel base. Then after that, install the class 4 glass lift by pushing it through the hole at the center of the 5 star steel base. Now the weight of the chair and your weight should automatically secure it in place. After that, install the suspension and tilt mechanism to the back of the seat. Use both the washer and spring washers to secure the screws. Now you can opt to use the included iron wrench or use your own if you have one. After that, I decided to install the seat on the 5 star steel base first before attaching the backrest since I figured it should be easier since it's lighter without the backrest. After that, I decided to strap in both the lumbar support pillow and the neck pillow so that it's easier to slide the straps in while the backrest is not yet installed. Next, attach the backrest via the adjustable metal support on both sides. Again, use both the washer and spring washer to secure the screws. 
And then after that, all you have to do now is place the plastic covers and cover the screw holes. And that's about it for the unboxing and assembly. And like I said, it is pretty straightforward and easy. Now let's move on to my thoughts and experience about the Sharkoon Scaler SDS2. First, let's talk about the adjustment options. The 3D armrest can be adjusted outward and inward as you can see here. Then you can also adjust the height to match it with the height of your table. You can also push it forward and backward depending on your preference. So as you can see, it is highly adjustable. Now the seat's height is also adjustable from 49cm to 58.5cm. The backrest is also tiltable with 3 to 18 degrees of adjustable tilt angle and full back tilt up to 90 to 160 degrees. The wheels are also super smooth and glides without much resistance, at least for the out-of-the-box experience. As for comfort, I can definitely say that this gaming chair is quite comfortable, not only with the adequate foam padding all around, but also with the breathable fabric that gives you a whole different experience compared to gaming chairs that use synthetic leather. It's certainly different in a good way. Now, it's arguable that this fabric material is more durable compared to synthetic leather, especially after a prolonged period of time. I feel like this could hold up wear and tear better compared to synthetic leather, and as long as you don't accidentally cut the fabric, it should last long enough compared to synthetic leather that tends to peel off over time. But let me know in the comments below what you think about that. Now, the lumbar support is also highly adjustable depending on your height and preference, and the size, like I said, is substantial. However, I feel like the neck support is just a tad bit smaller than I would have preferred. The side supports of both the actual seat and the backrest is also quite substantial and doesn't hurt both my thighs and shoulders even after a long period of seating on this chair. The width of both the seat and backrest is just enough to fit my relatively fat body. Now like I said, this is suitable for people with height up to 185cm or around 6 feet. But for people like me who are relatively short, I am around 5'2 in height. I cannot reach the floor even at the lowest height of this chair which is something you have to consider as well if you're around that same height. With that being said, that can easily be fixed by using a footrest. Now, all you have to do is just make sure your feet are properly supported while your arms are at the right height in relation to your desk for a more ergonomic experience. So to conclude, the Shikon Scaler SGS2 is a no-brainer for me and an easy recommendation for anyone looking for a gaming chair that veers away from the typical synthetic leather gaming chair that is honestly not quite suitable for our tropical country. Having a breathable fabric cover is certainly a breath of fresh air, no pun intended, especially at this price point of only around 10,000 pesos. The design, construction, even the quality of stitchings are very good and definitely high up there in terms of overall quality and value for what it's worth. Definitely a good pickup. And there you have it guys, thank you for watching. Huge thanks to Sharkun for sending this in, you can get this from the links below. Thank you for watching, subscribe if you like this, and see you next time. Have a great day guys, you're awesome.